We're here with Emmanuel Dixon, a business management consultant at IBM. Going to talk about how he got into tech real quick, and then also some things that he does on the side, and how you can figure out what you're interested in and what career path you want to go on to. So you were telling me how you got into IBM and going from college in Maryland into coming down here to Houston and being a consultant at IBM. What do you kind of do in your, your current job? What does that mean as a consultant? Yeah, so being a consultant, how I tell everyone is there's no real right answer to it. At the end of the day, you're working with people and you got to be able to work with people. I don't care how smart you think you are. I don't care if you're the smartest engineer, architect, doctor. You need to be able to work with people. And I wasn't the smartest kid in college. In the class, I probably was probably the lowest ranked out of the grades. But one thing I took with me was being able to connect, relate to people, relate to people's backgrounds, understanding that everybody comes from a different area, different experience, different place in life. So how I got into engineering, technology, consulting overall with IBM was a student actually in college who was like, hey, you know, you were cool with me in college. You were cool with me in the classes. And I know you don't know everything, but one thing you do know is how to work with people. So he's like, I work at IBM. Are you interested? And I was like, yeah, like, so the network, and that's, that's key is your network is your net worth. Thanks. Thanks. I'm going to let y'all, let y'all marinate on that. <laughs> your network is your net worth and who you know, and be nice to everyone. Because not for what people can do for you, but be nice to everyone in general, because you never know when you might cross paths again or when you might need, hey, um, I'm going through this situation or wh whatever it is or where someone can help you out. So be nice to everyone. Um, so that's how I basically ended up in IBM and consulting and um, project management, which is basically working with people, being able to manage a team to deliver, um, be able to complete an uh, deliverable. So. And it's so many gems in there. I feel like I got to get you back here on like for the full length episode. I'm the interview, down. You know, off camera where you're talking about like some of your interests in terms of like you're a personal trainer as well. You're yeah. a model. And then you built an app as well, like yeah. for personal training. People that are like trying to figure out, yo, should I be an engineer, IT, an art artist? How do you figure that out? How I look at it, right? We all got one life, right? It's a start date when you're born and there's going to be an end date. And in between that time, you're going to come across things that you might be passionate about more than others. Don't let your life go by. Don't be 90 years old sitting on the edge of your bed like, dang, I wish I would have did this or I wish I would have done that. Figure out what you want to do in life and then figure out how to monetize it. And you'll never work a day in your life. In college, I started boxing and all my friends are like, hey, let me work out with you. And there was a point where in college, I would tell everybody to meet me at the stairway and we would go through an hour workout of sit-ups, push-ups, running up and down the stairs, jumping jacks, and just it, it became so big, it was like 50-something students out there, like, wow. off of, like, just an Instagram story, meet me at the stairs at 6 p.m. So uh, moving down to Houston, doing consulting and working with technology, my friends, they're like, yo, you need to personal train. You have to train people because you know what to do. You know how to get fit, how to take care of your body and your health. And I was training people in person, and I realized my time is so valuable, and it's too many people. Like, I was training people 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., then working my consulting job, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., then training people 6, 6 p.m. So as a consultant, and what the definition of a consultant is, is making something better, whether it's with a company or making it more efficient. So I said, how can I make my personal training business more efficient? And from there, I was able to develop an app where I could put all my workouts in the app, all the meal guys in the app, to where you can wake up, open up your phone, Go on the app and say, oh, this is the workout that Manny provided me for today. And this is what I should eat for today. So currently I'm training people in Cali, Atlanta, D.C., across America, wherever mm. you are in the world. Um, I'm able to train them because I developed an app, was able to put the workouts in there and be able to be their coach. I'm doing consulting, doing personal training, developed an app for that. And then I've recently been doing modeling where I was in New York Fashion Week and some other fashion shows. But life wherever it takes you you know be able to embrace it and go after you know your passion and em embrace the journey it's failure all the time failure i've went through so many months of just failing the app not working or this not working or you know just failure 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 and there's two l's right there's losses and there's learning right and every single failure i could decide this is a loss or this is learning. Decide that it's learning. 
you know? Hey, man, you got you got some professional speaking like background <laughs> or something in here. Hey, that's Appreciate dope. It. Hey, but real quick, Emmanuel, before you go, let the people know how they can find you if they want to like follow your journey and keep up with you. Oh, yeah, for sure. So my main point of contact, follow me on Instagram at Manny Dixon, um, M-A-N-N-Y. D-I-X-O-N, and you'll see the problem child. So people, they call me the problem child because I'm just a rebel to society. Like, um, create your own path, create your own wave, no matter if it take you nine years to to make. Dope. Hey, man, that's like a boxing nickname, by the way. <laughs> yes, Problem <sir>. child. <laughs> like, okay, it's going to be trouble. Yes. All right, but dope, man. I appreciate you coming through. Uh, got a chance to meet, I didn't say it earlier, but got a chance to meet you at Tech Fest Live here in Houston, uh, great event. So I'm really got a, I got a chance to hear you on the panel yes, and also get a chance to interview you afterwards. So best of luck and uh, I'll be in touch, man. Keeping up with your journey. I appreciate it, man. No appreciate problem. Appreciate it. So. Peace.